In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an image like this and split it up to its individual color components to get an output like this. Okay, in this video, what I would like to do is I would like to show this frog right here as an RGB image and then split it up into its individual channels, its red channel, its green channel, and its blue channel. And to do this, I think this image might look sort of cool because it has each of those individual colors. You have a lot of red right here on the body of the frog, some blue on the legs, you have some green on this leaf. So we should be able to see a correspondence in the lighter pixel colors in each of those color channels. Now the first thing I want to do is I've created a directory. This directory has the image of the frog. It's available on GitHub. And then I want to save this Python file in that same directory. So in color channels, color channels.py, I want to save this. Now let's import matplotlib. So from matplotlib import pyplot as plt. Matplotlib is imported. Now let's create my subplot. So I have my figure, my axis is equal to plt dot subplots. And I want to make it as a two by two. So I want to display the regular image, the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel. So subplots two, two. And if I just show this plt dot show, this subplot right here is going to have these four places. This, we have to reference it a little different than we did in the previous video. The last video, we just had a number of the sum plot. Now we need to have, okay, I need to give it the row and the column. So this will be 0, 0, this will be 0, 1, this will be 1, 0, and this will be 1, 1. Uh, so let's load my RGB image in. Let's put it in the subplot, and then you should be able to see what I mean. So my image is going to be plt dot I am read and because it's in the same directory I can just use the name of the image which is frog dot jpeg so let's display this right now just to make sure everything's working I'm going to say my axis zero zero dot I am show I'm gonna show my original image my axis zero zero dot axis I wanna turn this off in my axis zero zero, I want to create a title and I want to call it RGB. So let's show this, see if there's any problems. And there's not. So this is the original frog image. It, I don't have the axis labels around it and I have a title of RGB. And I reference that axis by zero zero. If I didn't reference it by zero zero, I'm gonna get an error on this screen right here where it says oh it has no attribute I am show uh, because it needs you need to you need to give it the two arguments the rows and the columns okay so I am show uh, what do I need to do now I need to grab my red channel I need to grab my blue or green channel and I need to grab my blue channel so for my red channel, I'm going to take my original image. So let's let's actually look at this. My original image. So if I print I uh, type of my image, it tells me I have some NumPy array. My image is a 3D array. So I can reference any pixels that I want with rows, columns, and depth because I also have a three-dimensional image. This image shape has three different channels. So I'm going to need to give it the row, the column, and the channel I want to extract. Well, for my red channel, I actually want to extract all my rows, all my columns, in the zero, the red channel. For green, I want to extract all my rows, all my columns, and my green channel. For blue, I want to extract all my rows, all my columns, and my blue channel. So that's what I do. And now, these are now 
just one dimensional arrays. So if I print I am red shape, it's going to only be a 445 by 640 by one because I took one channel of that. And all the rest are going to just have a, a depth of one. So now let's show these. So my axis, 0, 1, dot, I am show. I want to show my red image. Uh, I want to turn off my axis. And I want to set my title and say red red channel for green I'm going to say one zero dot I am show is going to be I am green one zero dot axis is going to be off and one zero dot set title is going to be my green channel and when I'm learning to program, I typically, yeah, I could copy this and I could say, okay, for blue, I want to change this to blue. I'm going to say this is one, one, and I, I'm going to change this to blue. Um, when I'm learning to program, I typically like to write everything out because it just gives me practice writing the functions that I'll need. Uh, and so right now I have my RGB, I have my red channel, my green channel, my blue channel. What I forgot to do was I forgot to change my color map. So I have this green sort of tint on it. So on my I am show right here, I'm going to say C map is equal to gray. C map, uh, that's my RGB one. I don't need it there. I need it here on red. That color map is not going to uh, change for this because it's an RGB image. But now it's going to show me this in grayscale. So I have this grayscale. Here's my original RGB image. Here's my red channel. Here's my green channel. And here's my blue channel. And now we can sort of look at the red channel and say anything that is a white or a light color has some red in that pixel. And it's, it aligns, right? The body of this frog is red. And it's showing me that I have a high intensity of red on the body of the frog. Let's look at this leaf right here. This leaf, especially in here, uh, has high, high, eh, not very high. Uh, if you look at the pixel colors here, it's not a, it's a darker green. So this yellow is probably going to have a higher level of green, 230, while this dark green is 204. But the leaf right here has some high intensity uh, in green. And then on the blue channel, we have some blue on its legs, and you can see the blue that is showing in its legs uh, are the lighter colors so it, it makes sense thanks for watching the video hopefully now you have an understanding of how to take a rgb image and to split it up into its red green and blue color channels if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps my channel grow to reach more people. And check out other videos from my playlist that might interest you.